Facebook is back in hot water again. So what are we even waiting for? Let's go ahead together as a people and check it out. Welcome to another Sensational Sunday. This is Mike, and this is Mike Text It Out. And yes, I am back to talk about Facebook because they probably are in the biggest mess this week. Of course, some of the biggest news this week were the AirPods Max, but I already did a video on that on Wednesday, so go check that out if you already haven't. But let's hop into what's going on with Facebook, and it has everything to do with Oculus. Well, at least one of the things that's going on. So if you're not familiar with why people have a problem with Facebook and their privacy practices, just do a quick Google search and you'll find a bunch of stuff. The most notable probably being the Cambridge Analytica scandal from a couple of years ago where they basically let 87 million users data get taken without their permission to possibly be used to influence an election. But I don't want to get too much into politics. So if you are interested in it, or if you haven't heard about it, you should definitely look into it and you'll see why people maybe don't trust Facebook as much and why a lot of people may have a problem with the fact that you have to connect your Facebook account to your Oculus account. So this was announced back in August that they're requiring that you connect a Facebook account to your Oculus account and any buyer that bought an Oculus, like a new one, automatically had to sign in with Facebook or sign up for a Facebook account in order to use it. So the reason a lot of people are mad about this is, you know, Facebook and their handling of people's information. And maybe on top of that, maybe some people just don't want a Facebook profile. People don't want to have to create a profile just to use a product. So that's where the big issue is. Me personally, I'm going to be 110% honest about it. When I first got my Oculus Rift back in 2016, I just automatically signed in with Facebook because sometimes I'd be a little bit lazy. So I didn't even think about it. So, I mean, I'm not, in that situation and personally how I feel about Facebook and privacy, I don't trust them, but I also don't trust Google. I don't fully 100% trust Apple either. I don't really trust any company. I mean, Facebook probably has one of the worst track records as far as privacy, but I've just given up. But I can understand how, you know, you as an end user of, you know, one of Facebook's products or you might have to use a product that Facebook supports or Facebook's the only one that has a market for it. And I can understand how you might feel uncomfortable having to create a Facebook profile and giving your information. And, you know, especially if you go do that Google search about all the, you know, nasty stuff with privacy that they've got going on. And just their general handling of situations regarding privacy and content management on their site. There's just a lot of stuff. There's just a lot of reasons why I can understand why people hate Facebook. So personally, when they announced the whole thing about the Oculus products requiring a Facebook login. I was kind of like, whatever, but I did do a review of the Oculus Quest last year and I recommended it because it's an awesome headset and it just came out with a new one. That does make it more difficult to recommend, you know, especially for someone that does care about their online privacy. It's like, it is a great headset. It's probably the best headset at that price range, like the best cheap headset. So yeah, it kind of sucks. Is like, you know, if you want to get an affordable headset that does standalone VR and you can connect it with a PC, the Quest is the best option. But then also you have to create a Facebook profile if you don't already have one and then give up your information to Facebook who you may or may not trust. So the reason I even mentioned all this right now, because this has been going on for a while, is because this week Germany is actually hitting them with an antitrust probe based off of all this, like requiring a Facebook account to be linked with your Oculus account or with your Oculus headset in general. So I'm gonna go ahead and read this quote because this kind of explains why this is happening to Facebook. So the president of Germany's federal cartel office basically said this, in the future, the use of new Oculus glasses requires the user to also have a Facebook account linking virtual reality products and the group's social network in this way could constitute a prohibited abuse of dominance by Facebook. With a social network, Facebook holds a dominant position in Germany and is also already an important player in the emerging but growing VR market. We intend to examine whether and to what extent this tying arrangement will affect competition in both areas of activity. So basically what the quote said was, Facebook's already a market leader in VR and in social media in Germany. Forcing you to link both of those together can make it even harder for competition in each of those spaces to emerge. So basically they're saying like Facebook 
By doing this, it's becoming even more of a monopoly in both of those areas where they're already dominant in. So that is important to note because, yeah, Facebook does kind of have a foothold in VR and in social media. So that does make a lot of sense. I mean, the Oculus isn't the most popular VR headset by a long shot, but it is the market leader right now. And then on top of that, they're also facing another lawsuit in the US that's not technically related to this. So basically 46 states in the US and some US territories are teaming together to file an antitrust lawsuit against Facebook for basically anti-competitive behaviors. They noted things such as them buying like Instagram and WhatsApp, you know, their competition. So generally this hasn't been the strongest week for Facebook um, in light of everything. But yeah, I think that Facebook is still a very long way from regaining consumers trust. They've made a lot of bad decisions and I think that them requiring a Facebook profile to use Oculus products was overall a dumb decision. Like I said, I personally, like it doesn't change anything for me personally, but yeah, if you don't want a Facebook profile, you shouldn't have to have a Facebook profile in order to use your product. It's Facebook, they can do whatever they want to, but the Oculus Quest is mostly a gaming headset. I understand they're trying to build the social stuff around it, which is why they're trying to force people to have a profile so that way they engage with the social features and they think that they're gonna lock them into their ecosystem. I get it, but some people might just buy it because they wanna play games and they don't want a profile. Like the biggest thing is the profile. If you could just do a Facebook account that didn't have a profile associated with it, fine. If you had an Oculus account before, Facebook still had your data. So if you're gonna use a Facebook product, they're gonna have your data either way. To me, the biggest issue is just the fact that you have to create a profile. But yeah, depending on how these suits go, I don't know, things could change for Facebook. They could be forced to break up, break back up into different companies like Oculus, Instagram, WhatsApp. Personally, as a fan of the Oculus Quest, it's great that they have the monetary backing of Facebook. I mean, Facebook bought them before they even got big, so that's really helped them. But I am worried that they're just gonna turn it into like a social media product and it's not gonna be a gaming headset in the future. So I'd rather see them go independent if they were forced to split up. So yeah, either way, the big story this week is they got two antitrust suits coming up against them. Will Facebook survive? I think they probably will ultimately survive, but they may be forced to make some major changes. But anyway, let me know how you personally feel about the requirement for the Facebook account to log in and the lawsuit, the, the Germany lawsuit regarding this. Personally, it doesn't bother me because I already have a Facebook profile, but yeah, I think that they should change this for people that don't want to have to create a Facebook profile. It's just a weird requirement. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, I'll be back on Wednesday to tell you all the stuff that I spent too much money on for Black Friday. But until then, remember to tell a friend, tell a coworker, like, share, and subscribe, and always do at least two things at the same time. Peace.